Hello Zebra Herd. In today's episode of Fall Guys, we are going to infinity and beyond with the brand new Big Buzz Bundle, which of course features Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Let's get started. So bundle number two, as part of Andy's toy box, we have the Big Buzz Bundle. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Launch your bean in to infinity and beyond with Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. It also comes with this little alien um, nameplate, as well as the Falling With Style name tag. So we'll definitely be getting that, as well as, you know, I might as well get this aliens one. Do not anger the claw. You've been chosen to wear this great pattern. <laughs> it looks like it is just a bunch of aliens sort of flying around, getting caught up by the claw. I might as well get that now too, so we'll get that for 200 show bucks. And I don't know if we'll play with it too much, but we can also take a look at this over here. So we'll confirm our purchase and we'll go ahead and equip that real fast. So here we are with the Buzz Lightyear costume looking just as I'd imagine him too. He looks like a really cool space ranger with all of his buttons and the wings and of course his eyebrow being raised and everything. Really cool interpretation and buzz, just like we saw with Woody. I was really impressed with that one and the same deal with this one. So I think we're good to hop into some action. Uh, we have some daily quests we need to get through, so I think we'll start things off with a solo show and see where things go from there. Ooh, our next round is Seesaw. I guess our first round. Let's see if we can't get through this one pretty well. We were able to win, I think, one show. Last episode is Woody. Can we top that score with Buzz today? I'll definitely be trying my best. So we'll get over here. Of course, my usual goal right now is just to focus on the daily quests as much as I can. If I can get through those, then I'm usually pretty happy just because they give us extra fame pass points and I'm trying to get through the Halloween one as much as we can. Now that we're sort of, you know, into that a little bit more, but it seems like we're pretty much in the lead at the moment. I probably wanna work my way over to here. Just like that, just like that. And then from here, I can jump on this one. We're pretty close to a lot of other players, but we are still in the lead right now. Gotta lead the pack. We are a space cadet after all. If the leader space team. I was always, of course, a big fan of Toy Story as I've talked about last episode, but I was also really into the Buzz Lightyear cartoon show that happened on one of the Disney TV channels way back then. I always thought that was a really cool show. And it looks like we are in the lead right now, so I think I'll be able to boom, jump through the finish line, and we get a fantastic start to this episode. Round two has us running through Hit Parade. Haven't seen this one in a little bit, so happy to see it again. Let's see if we can get to the end pretty well. I think we'll be able to handle it. We got first place in that last round. We'll just jump our way through and see if we can't lead the pack into another victory. Maybe if we time this correctly, we won't even need the jump at all. Oh no, okay, I definitely do. Come on, can I make my way through that in time? No, <laughs> couldn't quite make it. That would have been great if I could get knocked back a little bit too, so not the best situation. Oh, come on, ow. We can handle this, right? We can make our way through. Ooh, all right, not bad, not bad. So I think at this rate, I'll just try to climb my way up. Maybe not a first place finish, but it's still a qualification, which is good enough for me. All right, Blast Lantis, we're changing up the pace a little bit with this one. Got the tentacles out here this time too. That doesn't always happen, but it seems like it will this time. So I'll grab one of the blast balls and then I couldn't quite make it over there. So I, ow, I guess I'll go over here. The tentacle got me. The tentacle's not always an easy addition to this, but I would like to grab this. Thank you very much. And then just try to toss to some players because whoa, somebody hit me with something from mine. I don't appreciate it. All right, uh, or maybe the blast balls are like exploding differently. I don't know. Yeah, they're like exploding early. Whoa, that's weird. That's definitely not normal. Huh, usually they go much longer before they pop like that. So let's see if we can't just toss one over. Oh no, oh no, I might be in trouble here. Be careful, one more person needs to be knocked out. So I just have to try really hard to make sure it's not me. No way, no way, no, oh my gosh. That was so close. I'm running out of here. I'm tossing that over. That was a weird laggy throw. I'll toss it over that way, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but we gotta keep moving. I was the last person to knock someone out there. I feel so bad, but it's what we had to do. Whoa, next up we have Hoverboard Heroes. One we definitely haven't seen in a little while. I think the hope has been that you know some of the levels have been unvaulted, I think they call it. Uh, 
I hope that's the case. I really just like it when there's a larger variety of levels, of course, with how often we play the game. If there isn't, then we just run into the, a lot of the same things over and over again. So, definitely excited for that. We're gonna be doing some happy dances. Unfortunately, there was no victory emotes or you know taunts in general with um, these Toy Story themed, oh my gosh, these Toy Story themed bundles, but maybe that's for the future. I mean, maybe we could see some other Toy Story characters pop up at some point. I would love to see Woody's like, you are a toy, uh, like the expression he sort of gives to Buzz. Or just one of Buzz's classic little, you know, gestures. I guess really most of that is his wings like extending, which most characters wouldn't be able to do. So I don't know if they'd be able to do that too much, but there's definitely some things I think Toy Story related they could still do with like, animations and stuff. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I was trying to get through the crowd, wait! Whoa, what a save! That was really close. I was like over the edge there. So scary. Okay, I'm jumping up here, and I'm gonna be really careful with the bar, but if I jump, got it. Okay, grabbing onto the ledge. I've noticed that the character's like automatically gra grabbing onto the ledge recently. It's been very odd. Okay, and then I'll just fall down here. We're almost at the end, but that doesn't mean we're through all the difficult stuff. There's plenty of other challenges up ahead of us. I'm very nervous about it. You think this is where Buzz could use his wings to get through, but unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so for this, we just need to use the fans. Whoa, it didn't work. Oh, oh no! Oh, I fought on my doom. I just didn't really, I guess, jump at the right time. That's so unfortunate, so we don't quite make our way through to the next round with that one, but that's okay. It was still a good start. We got a couple of rounds in, and because of that, we get 6,000 fame pass points. Awesome, so we get a gold, or two golds, a bronze. We're jumping up a lot of points. We get the level 22, where we get the giant steps emote that I'll go ahead and equip, and I think we're good to move forward. So while maybe not the best first show as Buzz, it was still really cool to showcase him through that. So I think we're gonna make our way through all of this stuff. Let's try Ring Hexathon. All right, so the timer's gonna go down for our Ring Hexathon and we're getting started. We've won this one last episode, but it's definitely a, sort of a different kind of challenge than winning a normal solo show. So we'll see if we're able to make our way through. Either way, either way it's like really quick rounds and that can be nice if we can survive it, that is. Lots of players jumping around. Only one more needs to be knocked out, so we'll see if it's us or not, and we qualify. There we go. All right, so our next round coming in with the uh, Hexathon. I'm really determined to make it to the end this time, but we'll have to wait and see. And always the second round has less people to eliminate. It's really weird like that. I never really understand why it does that exactly, but I mean, I guess it's not my problem as long as I can survive it, but these players definitely seem to be on top of things a little bit better. So we might have a little bit more competition as we head into this third round. Okay, our final round of Hexaring. Always happens so fast, right? So I guess as we're jumping through this one, I would love to hear though, what is your thought on the uh, Buzz Lightyear costume as part, of course, of this Toy Story theme bundle? I really like both Buzz and Woody, both as characters. It's hard for me to choose a favorite. I think that they sort of just go together so well that whatever I, you know, dislike about one, I like about the other in a way that balances it out in a perfect way. Oh no, oh no, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. A lot of players on top of each other here making this complicated, but we somehow made a way out of that. Oh boy. I think this is a really nice bundle. When it comes to the costume itself, really well detailed, just like Woody, I think it's a tie for me between the two. I would love to hear if you like one more than the other. And like I was saying before, the only thing I'm really bummed about is that there wasn't more. I would love to see more Toy Story themed stuff and more Pixar stuff in general, but definitely Toy Story with it being one of my all time favorite movies. Uh, definitely Toy Story 2 I think is my favorite out of the whole group of them. Going down here. Got it, got it. All right, jumping over here. We're doing pretty well so far. Half of the players have been eliminated. I'm trying to stay on top of it. There we go. Yeah, like I was saying, I think that other Toy Story characters would be cool. Obviously, Rex would be a fun one. That's one of my favorite Toy Story characters, but there's some other ones like Jesse. Oh no, I don't quite make the jump. So close to victory, but not quite gonna be able to grasp it. That's all right, somebody's able to win the little Game Boy victory. That's good for them. Let's see, see our show summary though. It looks like yeah, we get some extra steps forward. We get 3,300 fame pass, fame pass points there. So, two golds. Oh, we jump up a little bit more. So, making our way a little bit closer to the next level.
but you know what? I just want to hop right back into the action. Like I said before, I just want to try a little bit of each show. So next up, we're gonna do squads. Ooh, our first round of the squad show is gonna be DoorDash. We have, I think, yeah, all of our teammates here, so that's good. It keeps telling me there's a connection issue, which I'm not really sure why there is, but <laughs> I'll just do what I can with what I got going on here. Maybe the servers are having a hard time right now. You never really know, but uh, I'll just rush through here a little bit. Okay, here's the door opening up. We need to get a good score for our squad. And I'm determined to do just that. Very fortunate door there. I think it's gonna be this one in the middle. It's not, okay, lesson learned. It's gotta be this one over here. And I guess probably that second one over there, the second to the right. Okay. I might be able to get a decent score. Some of our teammates are ahead of us, which is fine with me. There we go. Ooh, I definitely gained ourselves a couple of placements back with that, which is good. Whenever we can soar over the crowd with the hammer, that makes me happy. So we qualified, no problem. All right, next up is track attack. What do we wanna do here? I guess we just wanna, you know, win. <laughs> but do we wanna take any kind of different path here? Usually I do the same thing every time because it usually just works, but obviously sometimes a crowd can be a little bit difficult to beat out. Honestly, we're doing pretty good. I think I just barely hit the bar there. It looks like we're in the lead for first place at the moment, but I can just keep racing through. That'd be great. Oh man, oh man, I think we got it. Just jump down here now. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more, and boom, we made it. A first place finish in track attack is something I always love to see, and our teammates aren't too far behind. They're coming up to the last stretch. Obviously, currently, we're in first place, but we will fall behind as other players jump through. But if this group can just jump back up in points, we got one more teammate here. Going towards the last stretch. Be careful on the slide. They make it. We're back to first place in points. That is awesome. All right, our next round is gonna be Dizzy Heights. I think we can handle this one. We got first place in track attack. I think we can handle Dizzy Heights. We're, we're good at racing, it seems, so. Definitely excited to have a consistently, you know, solid squad here. As long as everyone's, you know, trying their best, I'm happy to see it. Yeah, like I was saying before, I would love to see more Toy Story costumes, but you know, more Pixar stuff in general would be cool too. I mean, obviously some of my favorites are gonna be Toy Story, but also things like Bugs Life and Up and Cars even. I don't know if they would ever do a Cars costume. That would be interesting. But I, uh, I guess, they, uh, I don't know, I thought the proportions might be a little odd for that. Anyways, we're gonna jump through this one. Not quite in first place, but we're not too far behind. Catching up pretty well. Maybe we can make some moves here and steal steal the win. I'll have to wait and see, but for right now I'm just gonna get across here. Got it. It's gonna be close. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, it looks like they just barely beat me out, but a second place finish is only one point less. So we'll see how our teammates go. We only need to be top five. So we have one teammate here, two more behind them. They're doing pretty good. Ooh, watch out, a little bit of a traffic jam. We're still in fourth place here, so we don't wanna fall behind too much. But our last two teammates are on this last little stretch, which can definitely prove to be difficult, be careful. Oh no, okay, <laughs> they're taking an interesting route this time. But hey, if it gets them through, then that's good. We're in sixth place right now, so they definitely need to make their way through here. Both of them are together, and I think that's enough for us to qualify. Here's hoping, it is awesome. All right, our next one is Stomping Ground. We got three angry, angry rhinos. We've seen this way too many times. Every single moment, every second that we can stay on this platform is gonna be helping with contributing us to qualify. So let's see if we can make that happen. It could be really difficult with three of them charging around here, but the longer we survive and the more other players fall off, the more we can get ahead with our points. So I'm just trying to do exactly that. It is really noisy around here too. More players are getting knocked off. We're still uh, tied for first. Oh, this could be a problem. He's really bullying me now, but somehow I stay on with that one. Buzz has faced off with many ferocious foes, but I don't know if he's ever faced off with a pack of angry rhinos. Somehow we are still all four players up here. That very rarely happens with, well, with squad shows on this round specifically. There goes one player, unfortunately. Oh man, oh man, wait, wait. Oh, I get knocked off too. We still have some players in the game though, so we just have to cheer for them. We're in second place for the time being with only 
eight seconds remaining. I think we'll make it then for the top three positions. That definitely seems possible. We're tied for second, falling the third. That is still enough to make it to the semi-final round. That's great. Okay, this is one I haven't seen in ages. It is some fruit. Count the fruit when the screen show quantity stand on the tile of, of a fruit of a matching number. It is really an odd one for sure, but count the fruit. I see one, two, three coconuts. I see one banana. Okay, two banana. So three coconuts, two bananas. What's it gonna be then? Avoiding slime. Uh, avoid rising slime. So was it three coconuts, two bananas? Okay, so three. That was three coconuts, only two bananas. Come over here, there you go. So it's a, it's a little bit of a tricky one. It requires a lot of content, context, a lot of thinking. So this time we got one star, two pears, one dragon fruit, or whatever that is. Maybe a durian? I think it's a durian, yeah, okay. Uh, so two pairs, one star, one durian. That's all I see. So avoid the rising slime. What's it gonna be? So two or one? Okay, it's gonna be one. So it's definitely gonna be this. What was the star? Was the star just to throw us off? I guess so. One of our teammates falls. Very unfortunate, but we're still on. We're earning up points with this too. So next thing's up here. Um, Count the fruit. I don't see fruit, okay, there we go. Man, those are dragon fruits. So three dragon fruit, one banana, two banana, one coconut. So three dragon fruit, two banana, one coconut. Let's hope that none of it's obscured. But uh, with this one, which might be the last round, so. What's it gonna be? Uh, three, okay, it was a dragon fruit that had three. All right, yep, okay, we're good. Awesome, so round over, we survived to the very end. That was cool. I don't know if I've ever made it to the end of that minigame. Ooh, we get jinxed. More uncommon rounds here. This one's pretty cool. So with jinx, of course, we just need to avoid the, the players that are jinxed. And if we do get jinxed, we just gotta jinx the other player. So they're gonna jump over there for now. We gotta be very, very careful. I guess I'll just chill over here. This blue color st scheme though for, uh, oh no, whoa, I didn't even see you. Okay, I got, I got, I got, that's okay. This blue color scheme for Buzz is pretty neat. Oh, where do you think I'm gonna go? I guess I'm going up this way. Okay, ready, and they're trying to jump away from me at the moment. We'll see what they end up doing. But you know what I could do? Jump, gotcha, <laughs> all right, cool, so. Here you are, and then you're gonna try to get away from me. You might be able to do it, you might not. Oh, I got them! That was perfect. They only have one yellow player remaining, and they're right over here, so we gotta jump and try to grab them. Cut them off a little bit if possible. Let's see where they're gonna go. It looks like, ow, over here. Couldn't quite make the jump, though. Wherever they go, I'm already jinxed. We just need to cut them off. Come on, come on. Yep, okay, here we go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, gotcha! Awesome, we win! So we won a squad show, that's fantastic! We get the victory, we're holding up the vial, we're becoming a spooky monster. Oh no, evil Buzz Lightyear. I really do like this blue and white color scheme though for Buzz. Looks cool. All right, so really cool victory there for sure. And as you can see, we get a little bit more when it comes to fame pass and kudos. 2,000 kudos, 3,300 fame pass points, and a couple more coming in too. We get three silvers and three golds and 20 crown charts. All right, so 1,300 kudos. Get a little bit more here. I think we actually earned up enough so that we have that one um, golden costume now. I think that I, I had a round that I recorded, but the footage went away. I don't know what happened to it, but I'll definitely have to showcase that soon. But we still have more we can do here. We can play any show. We can complete some daily challenges. So I think we're just gonna hop into a duos now and see how that turns out. All right, treetop tumble is our next one. I think we're good just to go down this way. Yep, okay, okay, got it. Pretty good, we do have some competition leading in front of us, but we just need to be top 15. So if we can catch up a little bit and get a decent placement here, I think we could definitely be happy with the results. That was actually pretty good. Okay, got it. Just gotta make sure I don't get knocked out of the way here. And it looks like we're leading the pack for the time being. Ooh, okay, avoiding all of that. I just gotta get a little bit farther, so please leave me alone. Oh no, 
Okay, so I think I might just want to go down this way. I don't really trust a frog too much. Oh, yeah, we made it. Awesome. Very cool. So a first place finish all for us right there. That's so nice. It seems like our adore partner is also making their way through. They're really not too far behind, so definitely we could earn up a lot of extra points here with that. Oh, that part's always so tricky though. I've definitely fallen back there many times. It looks like they might have to go, yeah, with the spinning instead of against it. But even that could be tough. They make it through, and boom, we're back at the second place. We are definitely making it to the next round then. All right, Seesaw is our next round. If we got first place in the last one, I'm sure we can maybe get pretty close in this one. We've already won Seesaw once today, I think, so. We'll have to see how this goes. Starting a little bit farther back in the crowd this time can definitely make things slightly more difficult. I think we'll be okay. This one's staying pretty balanced. I wanna make my way off to the side here. There we go. Yeah, not all the way out in the front, but pretty close to it. Go, there we go. Now we're getting a lot closer. I think we can make it. We're definitely racing with this one other player. Let's jump over here as soon as I can. And then right up this way. Oh, it is really, really close. Uh-oh, okay, I sort of made it. They had a cleaner jump up, so it looks like we'll be getting a second place. That's all right, though. It was still pretty good. So yeah, second place is 29 points. Hopefully our duo partner, yeah, not too far behind. It's very easy to get caught up in the crowd in a round like this, but even just with my good placement, we're at third place. So I think we're definitely at a good spot to move to the next round. It looks like they'll jump through too. Nice work. And will they make it? Right at the very end? Boom, they make it. We're back at the third. Poopsie Legends is our next round. This one is always super stressful. I do spy one golden hoop over there, but I'm way on the other side. Usually not the most strategic thing to start right next to our teammate, unfortunately, just because. Uh, okay, let's see if I can make this. Oh, I don't know if I can, not from this angle. Oh boy. But, uh, geez, I definitely need to find one soon. I would think I can make that jump, but I guess I can't. Okay, I definitely need to get a hoop for our team. Come on, can I get up here? No, come on. This is not good. Uh, I'll try to get this one. This one seems doable. Ah oh, man, I'm really not doing super well. But it's not really the best to set, start right next to our teammate because we can't really spread out a little bit. Here, I'll go to this one. Got it. And that is our second hoop. And then I can get up here. Oh, that's a golden one. Ah, oh, I can't quite get to it in time though. So unfortunate. I'm just gonna wait up here for a second to see if anything pops up near us. Okay, right here. I can't get to it in time. Okay, here's my chance maybe. Oh my gosh, so unfortunate. So many people in the way. Uh, and no hoops around here. Come on, come on. It's gotta be something somewhere. I do see that one way off there, but like, once again, by the time I get there, it'd probably be gone. So, it's not the best situation so far. Nobody's qualified yet, though, so that's at least something. Come on, come on. I do see a couple over here. A lot of opportunity over here, actually. Whoa, tons of hoops. Let me grab that. And then we're up to three of them. I will jump through that. That's gonna be four. We need 12 points in total here though. So it definitely gets a, a little difficult. How does, really, are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, ah, you just can't. Those are just like little tricks that make you think you can hop through them, but you really can't. We only have four hoops scored here. I need so much more. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this. I don't, yeah, I can't be that player there. So unfortunate. Okay, I could definitely do this one getting us at the five points, but we have, Four other teams to beat here. I'm just gonna have to drag this over a little bit. That's not gonna be productive at all. I don't know. Jump, got it. And then I will try to jump and dive so I can get that. Get this one too, getting us to seven points. So we're halfway there now. Okay, you go up there. I'm gonna try to get this one. So we're up to eight points now. And, huh. How do I wanna do this, son? There's our teammate. That's good for them, I'm happy to see them getting some hoops. There's still so much more to do here. Uh, I need to drag this over and try to make that jump, I think. Come on, come on. Just gotta make sure nobody seals it in that time. We're up to 10. And then I can't make that jump, no way, no way. Okay, so a lot of players really fighting over that. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Wait, wait, got it. There we go, we qualified. All right, so some decent teamwork got us through that one. That was a really, really tough round of Hoopsie Legends. Oh my goodness. 
Oh man, we got some fruit again. So after not seeing it for basically a really long time, we're now seeing it twice in one episode. What are the odds? Okay. Because I think the last time we did this, like not earlier in today's episode, but like before that, it was one of those things where everybody got eliminated. It just didn't spawn in the fruit or something. I don't know. Uh, three bananas and then two, I guess, berries of some sort. That's what I see right now. We'll see if that's correct. So let's see what it's gonna ask for. Two, okay, definitely the berries, so I'll just chill out over here. So far, everybody's doing good. That's nice. And what fruit are we getting this time? All right, I see two berries. I see one, two, three, four pears, two bananas, three bananas. So four pears, three bananas, two berries. I think that's our totals here. Four pears, three bananas, two berries. All right, avoid rising slime. This banana is still floating around. Three, it was definitely three bananas, so I'll chill out over here. And we're good, more players are falling off. We are still tied for first year. We just need to make top four. So hopefully we can do exactly just that. As more fruit comes in, I see one, two, three, four pears. I see at least one durian, three berries. Okay, I think that's your total. Three berries, four pears, one durian. All right, got it. What's it gonna be this time? One, three, or four. Two, okay, so it had to be the durian. There must have been two. I did not see a coconut at all. Luckily, we all make it. There we go, we were tied for first place. We get that golden survival medal. Looking pretty good. All right, next up we got Blast Ball as our final round here. Whoa, okay, haven't seen Blast Ball in a little bit, so let's see how we do here. Can we eliminate some players? Is it still gonna have the same issue? Why are you grabbing, I'm on your team, silly! I'm on your team, you almost got me eliminated! What was that about? All right, uh, yeah, they're definitely still exploding early, and it seems like not many people are prepared for that, so I'll definitely try to keep that in mind. And then, throw that over there, oh no! Oh no, that was close, that was so close. I need to stay away from the edge. Lots of players getting blasted around. Watch out for the falling platforms too. Yeah, it's so weird how it's exploding early and a lot of players don't seem to realize that. Okay, whoa. I also think the connection's weird. I did check my internet between rounds and as far as I can tell, this is just like a server thing right now. Uh, okay, there we go, that one's gonna go flying. Only two players have been eliminated so far. It definitely has to do with the server connection. Two, oh no. Gotta be careful. It's pretty disastrous when it happens. Oh, I got you pretty good there, but not enough to knock you off entirely. Which is definitely an unfortunate scenario. Not really where I meant to throw it. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. All right, now it's up to me to win this for my teammate because I unfortunately knocked them off. I gotta make it up to them. Oh no, that did not really work the way I thought it would. Again. Okay, they're sort of chasing me here. Uh, they're gonna toss it over there. We're in the last three players. Ah, still somehow I threw it too early, even though it's exploding early. Oh, no, you don't, no, you don't. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. There we go. Oh, no, no! Oh, I was too busy aiming it up that I didn't notice I was sliding off the edge. That's so difficult. So unfortunately, I couldn't make it. I'm so sorry, but we did make it pretty far. We did one in one squad show, though, so I'm at least happy about that. And as you can see, we're still earning up some other points. So we got two silvers, a bronze, and a gold. So a little bit of fame pass points here. Which quests are still remaining for today? I definitely wanna see, because as you can see, we, we need to win one more daily challenge, which is to play two more shows. And then for a weekly, we just need to play more daily challenges, which I guess we'll make more progress with right here. So if we can just do two more normal little shows, a lot of these we've already checked out or some of the co-op ones that just don't ever really work for me. So I think we'll try Olympe again since it's been a little bit since we did that one. All right, we got our Olympic climb going on here. Hopefully we can handle it. Whoa, even the clouds are bouncy. I didn't realize that. Okay, I thought that they were gonna be a little bit more solid. So let's try that again. There we go. You think soaring through the sky is something Buzz Lightyear could handle, but I guess he's maybe more used to soaring through space, so maybe that's what makes it a little bit more difficult. It looks like we need to go, yeah, right over here. Okay, get pushed. Way up, we've played this once before, but it's been a little bit, so don't exactly remember everything we're supposed to do. It doesn't seem like there's any players in front of us, so that's a good sign. 
that we should be able to, whoa, whoa, come on, please don't knock me off that way. There we go, we're almost at the checkpoint, so I just definitely don't wanna get knocked off here. There we go. We have a lot going on with this one, so I'm just really trying to make sure we stay ahead and stay productive through the whole thing. There we go. Okay, got it. A little bit more now. And I guess I'll hop onto here. Ooh, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. So I can just keep jumping, keep moving. That'd be pretty good. All right, and then we got this to deal with here. We're handling it pretty well. Some simple jumps there. Just gotta stay consistent with them. I sort of remember this. Obviously it's like sort of dizzy heights kind of obstacles. No, it didn't work out for me though. I hit a little bit of a cloud that was poking at the top of it. And I'm pretty far back now competing with this player. We had that lead before, unfortunately. I don't have it anymore. Yeah, pretty far back checkpoint actually. I thought we had passed one, but I guess not. Luckily I'm just pulling ahead again. So I think we can make it happen. It's gonna jump, jump, boom. Got it. And there. All right, so I think we're making it pretty well here. Just gotta get around this side. Fly up here. Whoa, whoa. I do see some players way down there. No! Oh, that is such a tough jump to make. Because of that, I have to go all the way around it again. Some players getting ahead of me. I guess it's not the end of the world if we don't get a first place finish. I would just really like one. Got it. Oh, they're gonna fall too. I know the pain. Don't worry, I can relate. There we go, there we go. Come on, just a little bit more. These clouds are so bouncy. We're at the last stretch. A few more little hops should make us enter. Come on, come on, and boom, we made it. Awesome. Okay, so that round finally ended. Let's see what we get a win for for our results here. We've seen that animation a couple of times today, so don't mind skipping it. We just need to play one more show. So I might play that bouncy one we played last episode, just so it's a little bit faster. Uh, because that was definitely a quicker one. But yeah, we get some crown shards, which is pretty nice to see. So if we go and change our show again, this has been one of my favorite ones, and it's super quick too, so it's a nice one to sort of just get done real fast. All right, so, so you think you can bounce. We've been able to bounce before. Let's try to bounce again. All right, so far so good. Whoa, whoa, okay. Diving over that one. Oh, just a little bit more. we we'll make it past that checkpoint. So that is good. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not so good. I almost made it line up. That would have been great actually, because it would just send us right over to the checkpoint. Okay, there we go. Sometimes a lot of happy little accidents happen with this one. Okay, so I'll jump, dive, got it. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, when you hit sort of the, the crevice of both of them, you get like an extra high bounce. All right. There you go, just like that. Excellent, we make it through that one. I usually do the path on the left, so let's try the right one. Whoa, whoa, I think that's even faster actually. That's cool. And then I'll just dive through here and we will slowly make our way through. Come on, just a little bit more and boom, we're able to win another one. Okay, so we, we win yet another one here. And of course, we get some extra rewards from it. We get daily challenges, any show. And if we can complete two more daily challenges in the next episode, we'll get 180 crown shards, which is quite a lot. So yeah, really jumping up some stuff. We get level 24 here for the fame pass. Will we be able to get the level 25? Not quite, but definitely a jump forward. So stuff we really like to see, of course. Very, very good. So there was our showcase of the two Toy Story costume bundles. I enjoyed these a lot. I don't know why it says I don't have it when I just showcased it. But yeah, next episode we'll be getting back to the Fame Pass, of course, the Trickery Fame Pass we did before the very first costume. And we have quite a few more costumes unlocked that showcase soon enough. So we'll be working our way through that as we get more challenges done. It will be great. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.